Hi everyone, Chris here with Stacked Poker. Uh, you know, once I was out of my 20s, partying on New Year's Eve just wasn't such a big deal anymore. Uh, with that said, of course I've only been out of my 20s for a couple of years now. Uh, with that said though, I did decide to go play a little poker on New Year's Eve this year. I visited Gila River Lone Butte Casino here in Arizona. Um, it was kind of nice. They had several different promotions going on. I even got some goodies from uh, poker room manager extraordinaire Susan Pendarvis. Picked up this right here and these beauties right here. So they had several promotions going on throughout the night, as I'm sure most poker rooms throughout the country did. Uh, they have 30 tables in the Gila River Lone Butte location. Very high ceilings, big screen TVs everywhere. They always have promotions. They have tournaments there. Uh, on this particular night, they had Vegas Showgirls. They had Alien Stilt Walkers, which were super cool. Um, somebody at my table joked that that's probably the dealers on break. They had to put on the stilts and walk around for their half hour breaks. And <laughs> I don't think so, because those people actually knew what they were doing. Uh, let me set these aside here. Thank you, by the way, Susan, for the gifts. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm sure every room was packed wall to wall for New Year's Eve. You know, any big tournament series, Super Bowl, uh, New Year's Eve. Please remember these dealers and floor staff, they're probably working overtime to accommodate all of us players. Take a second, thank these people for their extra effort. Uh, they do work hard, you know, and throwing a dollar every now and then for the pot's great. But even just a verbal thank you for their extra work goes a long way. Now, hopefully... 2021 was a good year for you, both personally and in the poker world. Um, it was certainly something we've never dealt with before, right? You show up to a casino, you walk in the door, and you have to get your temperature checked right away. And then after you get your temperature checked, they want you to put a mask on. And if you forgot to bring your own mask that might be halfway comfortable, then you had to put on one of those little itchy ones that the casinos give you. Um, once you get inside, you see dealers and floor staff with masks on. Uh, there might be plexiglass dividers between players. Uh, even beyond that, there was times where not so much anymore, but it used to be as soon as a player got up, a cleaning crew had to come in and sanitize the station before the next player could sit down. You know, with all these new variants with Delta, Omicron, who knows what our, our how long this will go on? Is this our new normal? We really don't know at this point. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is a couple weeks ago, I took a trip to Southern California. I wanted to meet several of the different poker room managers, know, let them know about our new enterprise with Stacked Poker, uh, make sure it was okay to send them magazines. And what I'm finding out is several rooms are still not putting magazines out. They don't want them passed around player to player. They're you know another safety precaution, of course. Um, other rooms, and I'm gonna talk about one in particular, Aren't, aren't opened yet. You know, they maybe the smaller casinos threw slot machines in their poker room because they're easier to run and make more money for them. Um, big rooms. I went to Pachanga. Uh, it used to be one of my favorite places to play in Southern California. When I, if you have never been there, it's on a second level. When I walked in, I walked to the center bar and then decided to go up the stairs to the upstairs location. And when I got halfway up the stairs, there was a barrier there. So of course I moved that aside and went right past it. Um, pretty sure I wasn't supposed to do that, but I did. I uh, got to the top and discovered a dark poker room with nothing going on inside, completely closed. So I walked over to the escalators, which were turned off, and that's when I realized I definitely wasn't supposed to be up there. So I walked down the escalators, and there was a manager at the bottom asking me why I was upstairs, and I let him know I wanted to go play poker. That's when I found out that their poker dealers all fled for different poker dealing jobs during the pandemic. Other rooms that had opened back up before Pachanga did. And because of that, they don't have the staff to open back up. They just don't have enough dealers and floor people to even operate a poker room at this time, at this particular time. So again, you know, there's a shortage of dealers everywhere and it is a good job. It's a fun job. So if you guys know of people that are looking for a job or want a different career change, let them know. And there's a lot of poker dealing jobs out there available. Um, because of this factor, we kind of made a decision that it wouldn't be prudent to print, you know, 25,000 magazines to send out to casinos everywhere just to sit on a dock or in a storage room in a poker room and never be put out for the customers to read. 
So for February and possibly March, we're going to do a digital only online version of the magazine. We'll still put out the magazine, still the first couple days in February, it will be out and available for everyone. However, it's just going to be on our website, stackedpoker.net. Again, stackedpoker.net, just go to the website, check it out. You're here right now, hopefully watching this, or you might be on our YouTube channel, but let other people know if they want to check out some great articles, uh, different promotions that going on at different tournaments, check out the digital version. It'll again be out early February. Uh, hopefully 2022, we will return to some semblance of normalcy. Uh, I guess we'll find out. With that said, Goodbye 2021 and hello 2022, Cronin out.